Well, the state is stepping in after several insurance companies said they wouldn't write any more new home policies here in California. So now they've reversed their decisions and say they will offer more new plans in high danger areas. But KCAL News reporter Jasmine Beal found out some consumer groups worry not everyone will be able to afford it. It came down all the way to here and it went all around us. So it wasn't very good. We had to evacuate. Mary lives at the top of Brace Canyon Road in Burbank, an area prone to wildfires. In the last few years, her homeowner's insurance premium has doubled. Right under 5,000 and now it's almost $10,000 a year. $10,000 a year. She says she surprised her insurance carrier State Farm didn't just drop them. I mean, I even tried to get new insurance uh, up here. I looked all over the place, but they just look at where I live and they go, sorry, Charlie. They say no. Many homeowners like Mary are facing this insurance crisis where it's becoming more expensive or nearly impossible to insure property because of natural disasters made worse by climate change. On Thursday, state insurance commissioner Ricardo Lara struck a deal with the insurance industry to bring back coverage. He says it is a big win for consumers, especially those living in wildfire prone areas. This is a major accomplishment at its core is forcing competition, and that can only be good. Carl Sussman, an insurance broker, says insurance companies will have to meet certain requirements, like offering a certain amount of coverage in fire risk zones. For example, if a company writes 20 out of 100 homes in all of California, it must write 17 out of 100 of those homes in high fire zone areas. That never happened before. In return, the insurance companies are promised a better rate approval process and the ability to use models and data to price premiums. But we also need to make sure that, that insurance companies can pay out your claims when a catastrophe happens. But Harvey Rosenfield, the author of Proposition 103, the 1980s insurance reform law, and the founder of Consumer Watchdog, says it gives insurers free reign, like in Florida, where rates are two to three times higher. It will mean that. California homeowners and property owners will have to pay hundreds or possibly even thousands of dollars more every year for homeowners insurance coverage. The truth of the matter is we are in a different world than we were in the 80s. There's better computer modeling. Uh, we have a different weather pattern system that we have to work within. Laura admitted homeowners will see increases, but there are also discounts offered for fire resistant homes. Everybody pays for the amount of risk of where they live. I hope it works for us because right now it's not. So these changes are set to go into effect by the end of 2024, but the hope is that these insurers will return to writing new homeowner policies much sooner than that. Here in Burbank, Jasmine VLK Cal News.